Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Unit 1, Lesson 2, Citizenship and the American Experience. You should have already watched the video from BuzzFeed about American generations through the 20th century to think about the way that events in our country's history and the world's history have affected people's views of citizenship. This presentation will also help you to find out how to fill in that chart that comes on this Google Doc and how to complete it. And when you're finished with that, of course, you're going to proceed in the next presentation, which will take you through a reading and or recording about some of the good things and some of the bad things that government has done. So now that you've watched the video, let's go ahead and review what you actually saw on it. I do love showing this particular video to students in civics and government every single year because it's a nice review of everything that you should have learned in American Cultures 2 the year before. As you're aware, certain events happen that arise that shape and change the very way that we engage with one another and engage with our government and also the way that we sometimes view our roles as citizens. One of the key themes of this video was thinking about the changing times and places and expectations that have actually impacted American history the most. While we continue this presentation, think about the, some of the events that are impacting you today. Let's get started. So from that video, they talked about different generations. The first one I want to focus on while you fill out your chart is the greatest generation. Many sociologists come up with different names that categorize different demographics in this way. So the greatest generation can be defined as such. Born from 1901 to 1927, or the GI generation, they were depicted in the video as this character right here. So the greatest generation had several different formative events that impacted them significantly from World War I and World War II, the Great Depression, and FDR's New Deal, those types of events have dramatically impacted the way that citizens viewed their sense of participation in government and society in a big way. Some characteristics that came from those events are a large leap in education, communal or nationwide building, more urbanization where people moved to cities and got away from the countryside, and they're categorized in terms of their personality traits with force, will, and hard work. Some fun facts mentioned in the video is that there's less than 4 million Greatest Generation members alive today. Most of those people are in fact veterans who've actively served in the military. And some of those people who served, of course, suffered tremendously from PTSD, or what some people called at the time, shell shock. The next generation I'd like to focus on is the Silent Generation. The Silent Generation, or the Lucky Few, were born from 1928 to 1945. Depicted in the video as this, the silent generation was definitely much more unique than what most people realize. Some of the events that sh shaped them were the post-war American dream construct, the Korean War, the space race, McCarthyism and the Red Scare, and the Cold War and bomb shelters that infiltrated our societal practices. Some characteristics that best define the silent gen are people who really wanted to just stay within the system. They were all about consensus and agreement, and they popularized this essence of a midlife crisis where people often wondered about their own lives and existence as they got older. Divorce became very popular too, and so too did broken families. There's only 28 million nationwide surviving members estimated of the silent generation still alive today. Another reason why they're often called the Silent Gen is because no member of that generation ever served as President of the United States. And the next generation is Baby Boomers. Baby Boomers, or the Rock and Roll Generation or Generation Jones, were born from 1946 to 1964, and they were depicted in the video as this person right here. Here are some of the things that can best be said about the Baby Boomer Generation. So the Baby Boomer Generation, of course, had a different set of values than other generations. Looking at the Vietnam War, the protests that came along with it, Watergate, Woodstock, and the assassinations of Martin Luther King Jr., Robert Kennedy, several other types of assassinations too with JFK in mind have really rocked the nation at different times. The characteristics that best describe this particular generation are about civic engagement and change. They were like the total opposite of the silent generation, and they definitely had more liberal or free values and views on certain issues, especially with birth control. Speaking of birth control, birth control was approved during this time by the FDA, and many people of course used it and engaged in sexual activity more liberally. 
Protests became commonplace and many people began questioning everything. Let's go ahead to the next generation. Generation X, aka Gen X, were born from 1965 to 1980. In the video, Generation X was depicted as here. Some formative events that shaped Generation X are as follows. So of course, when we think about Generation X, we're talking about the fall of the Berlin Wall, the end of the Cold War, the AIDS crisis, and the MTV generation, with music television, of course, being a staple of this generation. Some characteristics that define silent, uh, this particular generation, sorry, the Generation X generation are slackers, aimless people, and more interested in pop culture than matters and issues that really do matter more. Some fun facts, though, are that women began to earn more education than men, and they, however, incurred the most personal debt, too. Maybe that was possibly from school and some of the new educational opportunities that came there. Next are millennials. Born from 1981 to 1997, millennials have different types of characteristics and traits that define them and separate them from their predecessors, too. Depicted in the video as such, millennials can best be defined in this way. The 9-11 event that dramatically impacted us had long ramifications from a national and international scale more than what anyone could have ever imagined. Obama's election, the Great Recession of 2008, and the rise of the internet really did bring about new eras of change and development, but also panic, fear, and paranoia. Millennials are known for being driven, but also easygoing. It should be noted that many people think millennials are only driven in their own pursuits, though. Millennials are often deemed to be more relaxed, they champion civil rights and social justice, and they're more hopeful for a better tomorrow than Generation X. Millennials, however, are less likely to take part in traditional marriage, traditional religion, and military. And they are known for being one of the friendlier, or if not most friendly, generation to the LGBTQ rights movement. Next, of course, we have Generation Z, the Founders Gen or iGen, Homeland Generation, Posts, Plurals, or Regen. Whatever name sociologists come up with here, one thing is for sure, Generation Z is dynamic for many different reasons. Depicted in the video as this, we will go ahead and discuss more about Generation Z right now. So this generation had global terrorism, Trump's election, and social media development really impact its generation members more than what they realize. Social issues were often taken for granted by these people because many of the types of social justice were already in place while they were coming of age. Political discourse ran rampant too for these people. This is the first generation to not remember a time without internet, smartphones, or social media. And they're also known to be the most entrepreneurial, which means most business savvy. As you can see at the very end of the video, they made a mention of Generation Alpha. Generation Alpha is the generation of Americans being born right now. And of course, time is still yet to be determined on how Generation Alpha will fit into our constructs of previous generations, or whether or not they'll be new altogether. So I hope that this presentation was very helpful for you about generations and really what they did to combine to form an essence of citizenship over the years. Once again, I leave you with this thought. Think about how our generations today will be impacted by current events to impact the future tomorrow.